Good day to you. I want to discuss with you today how marital harmony can change a nation. Because we know husband and wife union is the strongest union on earth. God meant it to be so. So when we think of uh, improving governance, let's begin at home with husband loving the wife and the wife honoring the husband. This is God's formula for success in the family and in society. That's the way the Lord would uh, have us be, respecting one another. And how that headship anointing uh, applied in the family uh, penetrates the nation as well. So firstly we are looking at husband and wife in mutual enjoyment and satisfaction and then it passes on to their children also. Second thing is that generation after generation, children to children, that they also develop their best potential in a happy, happy home. Uh, this is God's intention. So I'm taking the points of governance that are in your own hands so that you can improve a nation when you attend on your family. The strongest agreement on earth can be between husband and wife to shut Hades and open heaven. So the second thing I said was how one generation to the other, children's best potential according to Genesis 1.28, be fruitful, multiply, full, fill your portion, your poga, and then too we have, uh, then you steward what your children have for another generation. Uh, thirdly, we restore sexual purity, sec the true sexual satisfaction that God intended in holy matrimony. And, and all other kinds of sexual perversions are redeemed in the Christian family. It's the strongest bastion for God nature. Uh, when we deny the masculinity and femininity, there's a great gulf there. Uh, fourthly, uh, Christian family and Christian attitudes restore all the oppression of women that go on, man and woman living in their roles in great harmony. Fifthly, uh, we come to the work field, how in work field administrators, seniors live as benefactors and uh, th this is the Christian witness and this is what Christ in us, the Good Shepherd, must help us to do. This is how we redeem nations. So this appeal is for those who like to have the Lord Jesus Christ in their life and therefore improve governance in Sri Lanka or in any other nation. So this uh, fifth point is about work field administrators uh, and, and, and in the work realm every month's full potential. Then professional fathers, work field fathers relating with one generation to the other. The sixth point we can consider is how work and environment and enjoyment, ecological preservation as you work and bringing sanity, reconciliation, peace and harmony in the environment while we use resources uh, with uh, not with gay abandonment, not with consumerism fantasia, but preserving the earth as much as possible. Uh, then the uh, seventh point of interaction is how uh, work fields must produce wealth and equal distribution of wealth. This is the way we think of improving governance in a nation. Then we have the eighth point that executive, legislature, judiciary, they all together function for the welfare of the people. Uh, this is the reconciliation we need, the separation of powers and accountability. So these are the ways in which then finally of course your headship comes from God and and, and putting our head under God's rulership makes everything else prosperous. And we know God began life in a beautiful garden called Eden. And to that came suspicion, doubt, rebellion, thorns, dust, uh, lot of, uh, poison, a lot of sad things. But God restores this garden uh, by the time of the book of Revelation and God gives the picture of the original garden in the Song of Songs how the bridegroom and the bride are so much in love to each other and they restore a beautiful, fragrant garden of love. So this is possible in Christian marriage that we can exercise good godly governance, strength for a nation. May this be our portion. I like to read uh, Proverbs chapter 3, the wisdom chapter. 
Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 How blessed is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding for her profit. So it shifts to the feminine gender and I like to think this is the profit of the bride with the bridegroom. For her profit is better than profit of silver and her gain better than the gold. This I am saying, speaking of the bride of Christ. So the bride of Christ, the church in the nation, redeems the nation with silver and gold. She is more precious than jewels and nothing you desire compares with her. The high position, high redeeming position, high transforming authority that Christian marriage has. But beginning from home, you are producing future citizens, sons and daughters who occupy the work fields and occupy positions of governance at different levels uh, and we train them. The schools taking up vocations, all seniors becoming benefactors and next generation becoming beneficiaries. This is God's plan. And long life is in her right hand. This is about, I'm applying the wisdom passage to the bride of Christ. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. Proverbs 3.17 She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Let Christian marriage be like that. And happy are all who hold her fast. We pray this would be how Christian marriage in any nation redeems the nation. God bless you and keep you.